Hi everyone, my name is Jo and today I am bringing you this video as a frustrated mom. So I brought my son one of these Dollar Tree wind chimes and it tells you everything that's in here but there's no picture, there's no directions. I try, you know, peeling the label because sometimes it's like a double layer but there's not. There's literally nothing here to tell me how to do this. And I Googled it and I could find nothing. I found one video of a man of his child holding up a completed wind chime. So I think I've worked it out and to save you the stress that I have felt trying to put this thing together, look at this mangled thread. Like I have knotted it, I've, yeah, yeah. Not, not good. So if you, <laughs> if you're interested in watching a frazzled mom put together a Dollar Tree DIY wind chime, then keep watching. I'm also just interrupting this video, having watched the end to say that yes, my shirt is stained. We have had dinner. I've hugged my son. He has attacked me with dirty hands, and it is, it really is the end of the day. I mean, I'm a hot mess at Express. But if you're watching this video, I'm assuming that you are a mom or a grandparent or a dad or an aunt or not. You're someone that is doing this for that child or a child. Maybe you're even a school teacher and you know that feeling where you're just like, I don't know how, what to do here. Someone help me. Well, I'm hoping that this hot mess express can help you put together this DIY chime. So please excuse the way I look. All right, I think that position's better. You're gonna see less of my face, but you should be able to see the parts. And this is our tablecloth for crafting, so that's why it's all worn and it's got paint on it. So we had the sailboat one, so you should have one uh, bigger part that has one, two holes in. You should have one part that has, and my son painted these earlier today, one, two, three parts and a hole in the middle. And one more part that has just one hole. So I'm gonna lay them on the side. You should have three chimes with two holes at one side and no hole at the other. Put those there. Let's see, put them there. One bead and then string. And the string is the important part, which I didn't realize, and that's why I've been undoing knots. So you need to lay out all the string. And you're gonna see that there is a different length string, which is what I didn't realize. And there is one, two, three, four of the same, and one long. So you're gonna start with that one long string. This one long string is going to go through one of the holes. Let me see, one, two, three, Yes, through one of the holes. So I'm just gonna put it through. Let me see which is the front. I think that's the front. I don't know that it matters. I'm gonna put that through one of the holes, if I can, and tie a knot. It doesn't have to be pretty, you can trim it down later. Okay, tie a knot. So there we have the top with the string. Now about you don't want to use have a lot of extra up here because that will make the wind chime shorter. So I probably have too much, but I'm not undoing it again, again. All right, so there's that one. So the next thing you're going to do is find this one, and this needs to go through the middle. So I'm I'm gonna use my whoops and make it wet. If you think that's gross, do what you gotta do get it through that teeny and now my do you have a needle that would be better okay and I got most of it yeah get it through now you need to decide where you want this to be so this is going to go here then you're going to have the bead and then you're going to have this at the end so you have to decide so I'm going to go for about there and just tie a knot or two knots make it so it doesn't slide down and dip so there it is so then now it's going to rest 
oops, sorry. It's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna rest there. So now you want the bead to be in about the middle, so you're gonna thread the bead on. And my ends are all destroyed from previous attempts. And you put that on. And you're gonna put that about the midway between, oops, I didn't get all the, it's very difficult to thread it. I suggest if you have a needle, it will be much easier than doing it the way I am doing it and much quicker and much less stress. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, I got it. I got it. I got it. All right. So about halfway. So about there. I think it was about halfway in the picture. All right. I'm gonna do three knots because this this has a big old hole. All right. So now you've got the top, the middle, and the part that's going to hit against all your wind chimes and at the bottom here you're going to put the last piece so i'm going to put it through this and just tie a knot and you're done with the middle bit that's that bit done and of course this bit's hard to tie because you've used so much yarn hopefully it only needs two knots okay let's have a look nope needs more than two <sighs> okay, let's see if I can, yeah. Well, I don't know how many knots I can tie. This thing's just gonna keep coming through it. Once you put this together, I suggest putting it up high where your child will not get it. Because <laughs> if they pop, pull on it at all, it's gonna come apart. All right. Let's get you. One more. It's one more. So I am knotting it four times. That's how many times it's taken for it not to to fall off and I'm really struggling. No, I can't do it four times. It's going to be three times. What I am probably going to do is when I have got this all together, I'm going to take my glue gun and glue gun all the, all the things. Because I, yeah. I think a glue gun would do a better job. All right, so that's fine right now. That's what it looks like. If you can't see it very well. So now each, there's so four. One is the top one that's gonna hang it, that you're gonna use to hang it. And the other three um, need to go through the holes on here. So I'm gonna get them through the holes and then just knot them on top. Just a normal knot. Make sure it doesn't go through. Like I say, I'm I'm totally going through with my glue gun afterwards. That's one. And give it a knot. Luckily, these are more for decor because, yeah, it's expect a, a kid created Dollar Tree wind chime to be that great. All right, as a wind chime. Okay, so now you need to pick one and you're gonna thread it through the holes in a wind chime. Oh my goodness. All right, am I gonna do it? Yes, okay, so where do I want that? And then just work out how far down you want it. So, I want it to get hit by the, it's supposed to get hit by the bead. It's not gonna work, how's that gonna work? That's it, that is what you do. Okay, I'm just trying a big old knot in it. And then we'll, we'll do the rest and we'll see. We'll see if I did it right. Hang on. Don't get you out of the way. Put that there. See, I think I did it too long. 
This will be shorter. This is, this is hard. Dollar Tree. This is not an easy. This is not an easy thing for us parents. Okay, how's that? Is that in the right place? Because I want to use it as my guide. That's not right. Something's not right. I'm going to pause this. I'm going to pause this and look online and see if I can find a picture of a completed wind chime. And then I'll come back and finish it off with you. All right, back. And I nearly had it. All right, so let's put you back down here. So the difference is, instead of tying the knot around like this, oh my goodness, can I untie it? I don't know. The one video I can find, this is what they did. They had it here and they tied it around like Instead of tying it, I knotted it here. They tied it together like this. That's how they knotted it. They knotted it like that. Let's see if that's any better. I guess that's better. But now I've got to get them all the same. The same length. <laughs> it's a bit goofy looking. It's a bit goofy looking. Anyway, all right, so let's do the next one. Okay, and then this last one is the one that you're gonna to use to go through the big hole and tie it together. So that is how you're gonna you're gonna hang it. I prefer to do that thing where you uh, tie a knot. And then thread the like loop through. And then Put it through the hole like that. The wind chime is all trimmed, and here it is. That is the best I can do. I am literally making this video in the hope that it will help another frazzle parent like me who is stuck with a bogus Dollar Tree pack of DIY fun that does not have directions. And I am, I was gonna, I did say I was gonna glue gun this up. I am not, I am literally putting this high up on the wall and no one is ever allowed to touch it. <laughs> there we go. Dollar Tree DIY chime put together, ready to hang. It's not perfect, but it was a dollar and my son loved it. Bye.